So my best days in the classroom are when students are working on projects that they have personal investment in. They're challenged, they're challenging themselves, I'm working with their skill set, their skills, their challenges meet, they challenge me back, that's working with my skill set, and we find flow. Time goes by in a blink. For me, I have that experience personally when I'm making, and particularly when I'm throwing on the wheel. With wheel throwing, you need to make sure that you prepare. You need to set the stage. You need to have the tools and the materials ready to go so that you can make things work positively. Then you have to have an open mind. You have to be able to see the potential in the raw materials. You have to invest in that. And this is what we want for our students. We want to open their eyes to be able to see the potential in the materials, the situations, and the people around them. Throwing requires focus. If you don't have everything concentrated on that clay, it's going to go horribly awry. And that engagement is not only, oops, is not only mental and visual, but also tactile. Uh, it's your whole body engaged in the process. And the more we can do that for our students as well, the more they can be engaged in their learning. We hope that they have a sense of curiosity about what it is they're going to do, about what the potential might be in that material in front of them, whether the material is in the realm of science or mathematics or the arts or design. That curiosity is integral to the process. And with that curiosity, there's some risk taking. You have to ask those questions of, what would happen if I, and then actually be able, to will able and willing to go down that path. Maybe we'll push the material just a little bit further. Maybe I'll take my skills and see, well, I haven't been able to do that, but let's see if I can do it now. Sometimes that works, and sometimes not so much. So you have to be able to deal with failure, because it's not risk-taking if you don't have the real potential for failure. Now, in that, you can't just crumble and be like, oh, no, it's done. You have to have resilience and see the opportunity to start again. To scrap it, wipe the slate clean, learn from what you've done, and make another attempt. Another attempt is critical. You need to be able to learn from your failure and move forward and demonstrate that. And with that demonstration, you need to be able to invest in the clay. The clay doesn't form itself. I have agency in making the thing that I'm making in front of me, making that pot. Perhaps it's a mug, perhaps it's a bowl, maybe it's a sugar bowl with a lid, all kinds of options. Those options are an opportunity for the voice and choice that I as a creator have, I as a maker, and that we hope for our students in their educational process, in their learning. Give them an opportunity to express themselves, to know what they want to do and how they want to do it, and then make it happen. In that process, there's feedback. There may be feedback from a teacher, a mentor, a peer. In my case, the feedback from the clay. It's immediate. And we talk about timely feedback in the classroom. This is timely feedback. And it requires a response. So you have to be processing that feedback and reacting to it and moving forward. That's the revision process. You have to have that metacognitive process going on all the time in order to take that information and move forward. After the revision, and revision, and revision, and revision, you get to the process of finishing. It's really important to make those final decisions, to make those final tweaks, to get the, the pot at the point that it's ready to go. You have to get to that point where you have something that you're invested in, that you're proud of. You can say, yep, that's what I had in mind. And that's what we want for our students. We want them to be able to see the potential in materials and opportunities. We want them to engage fully in expressing their creative voice, their uh, curiosity, their investigation, 
So at the end of the day and the end of their learning, when they're done, they have something so that they can share their learning with others and say, I made this. <laughs>